Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Deb Talks. I, I made one for last week, but then I decided not to upload it just because I didn't like how it turned out. But, and we had a lot of news last week. I think that's probably why, because I wasn't sure of which to upload. So, let's get right to business. So first of all, we're going to be talking about Lee Kuk Ju, Lee Guk Ju. And Lee Guk Ju is a comedian, for those of you who don't know, who was also on Roommates. I think that's how a whole bunch of people really, really got to know her through Roommates. And right now, she has come under criticism for an Instagram post which she did. She's currently on the TV show called We Got Married, which is a TV show where um, celebrities, Korean celebrities go on and they pretend to be married and they live together and are married and all etc and etc and they show their life during marriage but she was one of the candidates along with the rapper Sleepy and on a recent episode you got, you got a kiss from her husband Sleepy on the show and a lot of people went ahead to post malicious comments on her Instagram about how um, they felt that they would never take they would never kiss her because of how fat she is or she has a fat head etc and etc and so she posted the comments the malicious comments that she received a screenshot of it on her Instagram and a lot of people she came under fire for it because a lot of people felt she shouldn't have the audacity to talk to people who are criticizing her looks when she's someone who actually sexually harasses people also now let me explain that there have been various moments where legal Jew has come under fire for things that she has done to celebrities e.g forcing kisses on them or touching their butts and all without their permission which in some instances you can see the guys that she has done this to have been really really uncomfortable there was a situation where Kim Jong-kook she told him he had to kiss her and when he tried to kiss her cheek she turned her face so he kissed her lips and that's just one of the examples of such situations so because of those actions that she's been taking, a lot of people have been really uncomfortable with her. She went from one of people's favorites to one of the most disliked celebrities because of that. And so, another actor who people don't really know, I have no idea who he is, but another actor posted on one of the articles that was posted about the whole situation and the whole mess on Facebook and she will posted some words about it to Lee Gokju on an article that was posted about the whole case and this was what he said so you feel bad being made fun of in the comments I wonder how the male celebrities that you sexually harass during public events feel again it's the whole situation I just told you about where she touches their butts or kisses them or asks them for kisses and they feel really uncomfortable comfortable but she hasn't stopped she keeps doing it and um he goes on to say when they had to just bitterly smile because they were in a position where they couldn't be mad you should have been sued 10 times over already know when you should be um, embarrassed and she has taken down the screenshots of the whole harassment um, malicious comments that she got even though she did say she was gonna seek legal action that was why she posted the screen screenshots and she said she was gonna seek legal action but she has since taken the post down and the actor has also taken his own post down this is my opinion on the whole situation yes she did harass people and she should yes get criticism for those actions that she took that made people uncomfortable but i think that's a separate entire situation from people um abusing her and calling her fat or calling her ugly she has a right to seek legal repercussions against those people just as the people she sexually harassed or touched inappropriately and etc and etc have the right to also seek legal action against her but i don't think two wrongs don't make a right just because she does that wrong i don't think it's right for people to 
hate on her face but I understand how the anger over those actions is translating into them hating her for her looks and body shaming her because yes there are other actors there are other comedians too that are fat she's not the only one but they don't get fat shamed because they don't do the things she does so i get that it's a translation anger over what she has been doing but i don't think it necessarily um what's the word is it validates it or it should be a validation for why you have the right to call her fat or ugly or abuse her and and her, her body and her face and etc and etc and tell her to go kill herself because she's ugly i don't think that's right i've never been a fan of two wrongs make a right i've never been that kind of person so i don't think that's right but i do understand the people who are saying dude you've been acting this way too you need to stop stop acting this way and also the other side stop acting this way i guess that's where i'm coming from she needs to stop acting that way and the other side also needs to stop acting that way but where are you in all this do you think well she asked for it she's been acting that way so she has to deal with the hate she's getting because of how she's been acting and annoying people or are you also like me and you're like well they're two different things she's wrong for doing that but that doesn't make it right that you're doing what you're doing because that's where i am it's not right that she did that but that doesn't make it right either that you're doing that to her that you're calling her ugly and fat shaming her and etc and etc on her social media and all around town i don't think that's right either so where do you stand or are you just i don't really care and that's totally okay let me know what you all think about the whole situation in the comments down below next let's go to the k-pop news for the day and uh, updates on comebacks and etc so if you don't know oh the biggest news of the month well if you don't know the most important news or comeback news for the day is Wina is finally coming back and they're gonna be releasing an album April and it's called as four members because um, Nam Taehyun is no longer a member it's their first comeback ever since Nam Taehyun left Winner and YG as a whole and Winner is going to be coming back as four. They're releasing an album called Fate Number no. Four, which I'm really excited about. They've released the teaser, so we know for sure it's real. Because you know YG, if we don't get a teaser, you don't believe it because he can postpone and keep postponing till forever. But that is one news, and my W has fallen down. <laughs> but um that is one news that I'm really, really, really excited about. If, as you all know, they're amongst my top three groups. So I'm really, really excited about this. I can't wait to see how this sounds. Kang Sung Yoon composed two of the tracks on the album. So I'm really, really excited because I've loved Kang Sung Yoon's production. So I'm really, really excited to see how Wina sounds and the new look. YG, please don't mess it up this time. Like, you don't get to mess things up twice. What excuse are you going to give us? So please promote them well and actually put an effort into this. Because this group can be bigger than they are now if you actually do put in the effort into them so i'm really really excited for this comeback i can't wait for, to buy the album watch the mv and the whole yes and the whole jazz and also i'm really really excited about this make sure you check it out if you've never checked out winner make sure you check them out when they do come back next in the comeback news is iu which i know a lot of people are excited about IU is also coming back in April. So is Gong Minji from 21, a former 21 member, is coming back with her solo from her new label Music Walks. And apparently she did compose one of the songs on the album. So I'm really excited to hear that song in particular though. Because this is the first time Minji has done that. Like she would never have done that if she wasn't YG. Another reason why we should all thank God she's no longer in YG. While it's sad that she's no longer in 21 and while it's sad with everything that happened in 21. But I'm really, really happy for her. Y'all, you do you. Congrats that's that on the comeback news now back to the entertainment world if you heard about it or if you've not heard about it Hong Sang Su um, is a director one of the most famous and the best Korean directors and he was revealed to be in an affair 
with an actress called Kim Min Hee who is definitely years younger than him and he's been seeking divorce from his wife he has sent her the letter twice but she was never at home during those two times and now apparently the third time they went also she also rejected the divorce letter so she also refused to divorce him and refused to appear in court and the whole shenanigans because she says she will not divorce him now for those of you who really don't know about it there was a whole scandal that viewed I think it was last year about Kim Min Hee and Hong Sang Soo who have been having an affair and the actor has a daughter in college in the United States and he has his wife who has been taking care of his mother who has dementia and also the actor and the director Hong Sang Soo and Kim Min Hee have um, publicly announced they did that about last week or two weeks back where they publicly announced that they're in love, they're dating, and they don't give two Fs about what anybody else thinks. So, basically, my own opinion on this, I think right now the wife is just doing this to spite him because if she never divorces him, um, Kim Min Hee will never get to marry him. She will never be on the register, which is kind of really important for um, Korean families or uh, countries that have the whole registry thing and being on the family register like China and Korea. I don't know about other China, uh, Asian countries, but China and Korea I know have the whole registry thing. And she will never be on the family registry, which is a big deal. Her children will never be on the registry. They will always be seen as the children of that woman that was having a affair with another person's husband and etc and etc and it will always follow them for life so i feel like she's more doing this out of spite not giving him the divorce but it may also be that she loves her husband and she just wants her husband which makes me feel really bad for her because hong sen su and kim min hee just announced publicly that hey we're in love like it's not like we didn't know because it was revealed it was a whole scandal but they came out and said we're in love and we don't give to s what you guys think we're dating and we're dating and that's it and i can't go to prison anymore for an affair and by i i mean hong sen su because there was a law in south korea before where adultery the um person involved in the adultery is sent to jail is in prison but that law has been cancelled and it's no longer a law so he can publicly date her and have his affair and live his life and seriously i just feel bad for the woman because if she loves him and she's still holding on to him i feel she's really not hurting anyone but herself in this instance because as hard as it is Oh my goodness, I think it's time to let go and you you don't know what a sort of joy and freedom you get just from letting go. It will still hurt, of course it will still hurt, you'll never forget about it, but just letting him go gives you a sense of peace that you will never get if you keep holding on to it. That's kind of what forgiveness is. But um, I'm not saying you should forgive, I hope she can forgive, it's not easy, I'm not gonna ask that. From her that's not an easy thing to ask but um that's the latest in news regarding Hong Sang Soo and Kim Min Hee um what do you all think about the whole scandal are you in support of her not divorcing her husband just to spite him or do you think she's not doing it because she loves him and what is your opinion whatever the case may be let me know your opinions in the comments down below there isn't really much happening in the k-pop world um, recently or today this week Lastly, I'd like to talk about Tiara's comeback. So Tiara is releasing their last album in May and it's going to be titled 666 because it's their um, last album or their sixth um, album as six and it's going to be in the six months and I am not buying this album. I have no intention to listen to this album and the only reason is because of, yes, it's because of the number 666. Okay, when I was like eight or nine, I had this situation where I was sleeping that's why I don't really wear earrings so I was sleeping and I heard a voice say take off your earrings and so I jumped up from sleep and removed my earrings and I looked at it and it had 666 the number on it I never saw this before but it had 666 on the number and I showed my mom and my mom was like what the how and all oh, real gold earrings and we had to throw it away and ever since then I've kind of been skeptical about wearing earrings I still wear them sometimes but most of the times if I can afford it 
I stay away from earrings because of that experience it kind of scarred me so I just kind of stay away from earrings so because of that I don't like the number 666 even with the whole biblical relation to the number 666 so I am not buying this album I am not listening to this album I wish them the best of luck I hope their fans buy it but I am gonna be amongst those people so don't expect a reaction from me when Tiara comes back I'm just throwing that out there right now Alright, so that is that for K-pop comeback news and that is that for Dead Talks for this week. Let me know what you all think about everything I just talked about in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like. Make sure the music video for the week that you should definitely check out is Rapmon and Wale Change. Make sure you give it a listen. That song is really dope with an actual message guys, an actual message. Alright. And don't forget to give this video a like, don't forget to share, subscribe, and keep being awesome, beautiful people you are. From me to you all, you know I'm just not alone for you all. Stay awesome.